Hello everyone. Uh, just it was just uh, on my mind, real quick, probably like a two minute video here. But uh, I want to talk a little bit about calcium magnesium. This is a problem a lot of people have. And what I've noticed is that aside from someone needing calcium for bones and things like that, or like osteoporosis, which this is not about that, is how much magnesium, how much calcium should someone take. And I think the easiest and fastest rule on this is, and there's different theories in this area regarding like, you know, should you even take calcium or how much you should take. Just a few things. When there's calcium in the saliva, um, it protects you from cavities. So it has an alkalizing effect and it protects you from cavities. So I think it's a good idea to take some calcium. Everybody should take some calcium. Really, it's the ratio that's the problem. And I notice a lot of women that I meet um, that, uh, that have constipation are taking calcium. Or if they're not taking calcium and they have constipation, they still have some kind of like a magnesium deficiency and they've gone through some kind of period where they've lost a lot of the magnesium where, like from lack of sleep or stress or whatever. So the basic rule is this. If you take calcium and you get constipated, you need at least the same amount of magnesium or more. you got to experiment. And I think taking about 1,000 milligrams of magnesium every day is a pretty good idea. I go from anywhere from like 500 to about 1,000 calcium. And so the whole idea is if you get more of kind of like a diarrhea reaction or cramping, take less magnesium. If you're getting constipated, take more magnesium. That's just the basic, fast, quick rule. And um, another thing is a lot of, uh, if you're having a lot of constipation, I've noticed magnesium oxide works really great. It has a really nice cleansing effect. Your body doesn't absorb it as well as, let's say, a citrate or a glyconate or a whatever eight. You know, there's all sorts of different type of magnesiums out there. But the magnesium oxide has a nice cleansing effect. So that's something you could play around with. And, um, yeah, that's it. Very simple. If you're going to go with the magnesium oxide, you, go, you can go with like a 400 milligram and get the other types of magnesium in, like another 600 of like glyconate or... Um, well, I haven't really tried magnesium carbonate. No, I've never tried that. But you know, there's magnesium chloride, and it just goes on and on and on. So, um, or you could go 500 and 500, 500 magnesium oxide, and then the rest, you know, citrate or whatever. So that's a quick thing, and drink a lot of water, and that should solve most of the problems with, you know, how much magnesium and how much calcium you should take. Because most of the time, by the way, it's 2 to 1. So it's 1,000 magnesium, uh, 1,000 calcium and 500 uh, magnesium. So just increase the magnesium and you will do much better.